Hey there guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, so in this video I just want to do a quick unboxing and quick look at the uh, T-Mobile test drive. Um, T-Mobile has a program uh, called Test Drive where they send out a hotspot and they give you 30 gigabytes of data for 30 days to try out their network. Um, so prior to this, they did have a program where uh, you could get a SIM card to test drive, but rather than do that, they decided to do a hotspot instead, and that way you could use it on your current phone with your current uh, carrier. So that's a pretty good idea, I think. Uh, so <clears throat> what you get is a pretty nondescript box here, and you get this small package here. So here is the box here. And it just says it's a little slip cover here. So it just says T-Mobile test drive, try T-Mobile's network, no strings attached. And then it shows you what it has included here. So it has a T-Mobile test drive, uh, which is this hotspot here. It is a, a cool pad surf. Uh, I had to look it up to find out what it was. Um, battery for it, the charger and USB cable and SIM card does have a start guide, product safety and warranty in terms and conditions. So, um, and then you get all this fun stuff on the back. Includes 30 gigs of data access, compatible devices required, postpaid domestic use only, no international roaming, device may not work if you alter its original, okay, I won't read, I won't read all that. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to read all that, feel free to pause real quick to uh, read all that fun terms and conditions stuff. Anyway, so that's just a little sleeve, and uh, you have a little tiny box here that does have the T-Mobile test drive uh, black kit has all the SIM and all that good stuff here. Ready, set, go. All right, so I do need to cut that open. Let me get my handy dandy knife here. Uh, there it is. So I have not opened it, have not done anything with it. Figured I'd do that on camera. Sometimes people open things <laughs> before they do it on camera just to kind of get an idea of what it has in it. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> 30 days on us. All right, and in the box here, it does have the T-Mobile test drive branding here. Um, on the right, we'll do all the non-fun stuff first. <laughs> uh, test drive, 30 days on us, ready, set, go. You have your SIM card here, and let's see. Should hopefully be already activated. Okay, so we got a SIM card there. And then we have 30 days on us, getting to know your test drive, USB port, power key, LED illumination, uh, connects Wi-Fi enabled devices so you can stream video, email, browse the web, make calls using the power of T-Mobile's network. Your trial lasts for 30 days or 30 gigabytes, whichever comes first. So that's pretty cool. Uh, gives you some information about the indicators on the device itself, health and safety warranty guide, and it is called a cool pad surf mobile hotspot. And then you have a terms and conditions return policy and limited warranty. So apparently if you do want to return it, you can return it to a T-Mobile store. You can let a friend use it for them to do the test drive and they can activate it the same way or you can keep it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so in the box here, we do have the hotspot itself. And as you can see, it does have the T-Mobile branding on the front. And you have a couple of LED lights here. So you have your signal, Wi-Fi, messages, uh, battery, data, on and off button. On the side, nothing. On the, on the top here, this is your charge port. Nothing on this side. And then on this side, you have a WPS button. And uh, you do have a little corner notch where you can open this up to put the battery and the SIM card in. And let's see if I can even do that because I have no nails. They really don't consider people without nails, do they? Okay, well, while, uh, I'll do that in a second. <laughs> All right, so we have a little charging brick here. Okay, so we got a charging brick and just a standard USB charging brick. This is probably five watts, but let's see. It is, wow, I cannot read it. Yeah, five volts or five watts, sorry. Yep, so there's that. And then you've got your typical micro USB charging cable there. 
we have our battery here, which is, the battery is uh, 2000, or, uh, 2150 milliamp hours. So that's pretty good. Should last a little bit. All right. Now let's try and get this battery off again. Where's that little notch? God bless. I hope I didn't break something there. Jeez, yeah, that thing definitely stays on there. Okay, so on the back here, uh, you do have, oh, actually, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is for, this part here. It's telling me something. There's a button maybe that you, you can push on the inside of this. I cannot quite tell what it's saying here. But on the back, it does have um, your SSID. So it does have 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And it has a password and your um, administrator URL, admin password. And then the password for it. So I will go ahead and take a picture of that so I don't have to do this, do this again here. All right, let's, uh, not now, okay. All right, so I'll take a picture of this real quick. Come on. Okay. All right, so now we got that. Oh, it comes with a silica gel packet. That's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it takes a nano SIM. So just like all the new phones nowadays do. Uh, cool pad model CP331A. So we'll just pop this SIM card out. And I like that the new SIM card, uh, they come with this kind of, you get the big SIM and then a mini SIM and then nano. So that's kind of cool. You get the couple of options there. All right, so let's see how me pop this in here. So just go like this. Got it there. So there it is. Let's pop this sucker in. I'm not sure if it'll have a charge, but most of the time they have somewhat of a charge. Okay, and let's see if it turns on. All right, we have life. Okay, now it's actually cycling through everything here. Okay. I guess I can try and connect to it now. All right, so I'm gonna be using this uh, iPhone SE to connect to it. All right, so it's saying signal red, no messages, Wi-Fi, battery. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and connect to it here. So it's only showing the 2.4 gigahertz, which is fine. Let's go ahead and enter in this password here. All right, four, two, eight, four, two, nine, five, one. All right, let's join it to see if it works here. All right, and it's connected. All right, do I have a speed test app? I do. All right, so let's do a little speed test and see how good the speed is.
Not too bad. So my house doesn't get the best signal, but 14 is not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and try and watch a video. Uh, I don't think I have YouTube on here, but let's go ahead and try to watch something on YouTube. Can't even type it. All right, let's see. What should I pick here? Yeah, of course it has to show an ad. Just what we want is an ad. Okay, come on. Okay, it's pretty good. Not too long to buffer that video, so that's pretty good. Pretty pleased with that. Now, um, Netflix has their own speed test also called Fast. It's fast.com. And you can do that in the browser, which is nice. So let's see what that says. Now, one thing to note is that it may show that it's slower on here, but faster on the speed test app. And that's because they do um, optimize video. So it's not quite at its full quality that it you know normally would be, um, but it gets it to enough. So 1.5 megabytes per second is probably what's gonna run for Netflix and YouTube, but it's okay because it should run just fine on that. Um, but they do that so that it saves bandwidth. So, um, not a big deal there. As you saw, it handled it just fine. Um, uh, I'm trying to see here. Should we download an app? Let's see if I can download an app and uh, see how fast that downloads. How about that? We'll find a random game here. Definitely not Fortnite. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, how big is this file? Okay. Yeah, all right, 285 megabytes. So let's just try that and see how it goes. You may ask me for a password probably. All right. Let's go ahead and enter my password in. Done. And let's just see how long it takes to download this app. Okay, so I know that the time says 10.08, but I promise you it only took three minutes to download this. So 285 megabytes in three minutes, not too bad. And we have a game, so it seems to run just fine. And just to note, it does have, it does seem to have kind of maybe low battery, but I believe it would be red if it was really low. So probably 50% maybe that it came with. All right, so we won't do all that. Uh, let's see, let's do our news app, see how long it takes to load here. Yeah, that seems to load pretty quickly. Our weather, yeah, that loads up mostly. Well, let's see. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad there. Um, let's see. All right, let's load up a trailer from Apple here. Eight seconds to you. To her. Good morning. I'm bringing you some sad and upsetting news. And while I don't know the details of the allegations, she saw me under the bus. And uh, yeah, that loaded up pretty quick, pretty nice. And just as an addition to um, what I've been saying, I didn't get to give the specs of the device or uh, you know some more of the specs of the device. I mean, um, anyway, so uh, this is the spec sheet from the T-Mobile website. So um, it does say it can connect up to 15 devices. 
Um, the battery usage time is 5.3 hours, standby up to 48 hours, and then the battery size, which I did mention, is 2150 milliamp hours. Um, memory 128 megabytes of RAM, 256 megabytes of ROM. Uh, Linux operating system 3.18. There's your processor here. And let's see what the bands it supports here. So it does support um, up to 150 megabytes per second, upload 50 megabits per second, and uh, Wi-Fi 802.11 BG and N Wi-Fi sharing. Um, you have your 4G uh, bands here, 2, 4, 12, 66, and 71. Uh, 3G bands, 1, 2, and 4. Um, yeah. Um, this is a page you can go on on your computer, or I think you could go on to it on the phone, um, but it is uh, HTTP um, dot dot slash slash mobile dot hotspot, and then the password on this one is admin, so I'm pretty sure that's uh, probably across the board here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what options we have in here. All right. All right, so this show the current data here. So that's interesting. So we have the current data, 1.76 megabytes, upload, download, current connect time. And then it shows um, IP addresses connected. So we do have the um, information here. So you can actually go in and change the SSID if you want to. Um, it's showing the max connections for each is 15. So I don't know if that means you can have 15 with both of them or 15 each which would be kind of interesting. Uh, one thing I haven't noticed is I have not noticed that I haven't noticed the um, the five gigahertz SSID pop up at all. So it didn't pop up on my computer here. Um, I only see the 2.4 gigahertz one. Yeah, it still doesn't pop up. So I only see the 2.4 gigahertz one. All right, and uh, let's see here, SMS. So it actually came up with a little service message Welcome to T-Mobile. Your phone number has been successfully set up. For details, visit this. So if you do get the little text message icon, which that was lit up before, um, you can actually see the text on the um, on your little page here. So on the page here, you also have, uh, it shows 4G LTE, operator, your network strength, uh, your connection status, SIM status, uh, Wi-Fi, so how many how many devices are on the Wi-Fi, and then the battery level of the device. And then we have our settings here. So let's see, do we have settings for the five gigahertz? All right, so this one is enabled. Let's see if the five, five gigahertz is to, uh, enabled or disabled. It is disabled. So let's go ahead and enable that. So for the five gigahertz, you're gonna have both channels active at the same time. This will disable the current channel on SSID. Okay, so we won't do that because I'm connected to it currently. So that is something to note. If you were wanting to get on the five gigahertz, you would need to uh, come into this and actually enable it because it's not enabled by default. Uh, let's see, WPS, you know, so you have a pin you can use, network settings to change this, or right, network type, 3G LTE, so that's probably the best that's gonna be on there. Connection mode settings, automatic, T-Mobile US. So you, have, you actually have an APN here you can enter in. So let's see, device settings. Okay, your account management for this, for the for this page. Pin management, reset to factory, restart the device. Check for updates. Okay, let's see, does it have an update? No updates available, okay. So that's kind of interesting. So it has like a Linux-based firmware. All right, we have a firewall here, and that's disabled, port forwarding, UPnP settings. Okay, pretty cool. You can actually whitelist or blacklist a MAC address. That's pretty cool. So it's got quite a bit of options, actually. All right, router settings, DNS settings. All right, so good stuff here. Uh, anyway, so that's good to note. Uh, so hopefully that's a little bit helpful uh, when you're looking into this hotspot. And uh, they do sell this hotspot on uh, Boost Mobile and Sprint. So I believe it's the same exact model, just not with, it just does not have the T-Mobile branding on there. But yeah, hopefully that helps a little bit. All right, so um, there's uh, just been an unboxing of this hotspot here and just a quick uh, test of it on this iPhone SE. So um, should work with any Wi-Fi device. And if it does get the, if it does have uh, 
a radio that can handle the 5 gigahertz, you'll get even better speeds. So I'll definitely try it again with a 5 gigahertz device and see if that gets um, better speeds than the 2.4 gigahertz does. But this thing is pretty thin and pretty light, so you should be able to just put this in your pocket and uh, bring it with you wherever you go. Um, probably use it in the car with uh, your kids if you wanted to try it out on their tablets. And um, yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. And feel free to uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions about this. Thanks, bye.